What does Divine Masculine believe that is holding him back? Hi everyone, I hope you are all well. The most significant limiting belief that Divine Masculine has at this time has to do with changing his mind or making up his mind and doing so confidently. I feel like there are thought patterns that Divine Masculine needs to walk away from and do so confidently. I feel like there are some thought patterns regarding what a healthy state in one's life looks like that Divine Masculine has, which are limiting to his life. I feel like Divine Masculine has the belief that not making a choice or keeping his options open when it comes to his emotions is healthy. It's anything goes energy. I feel like Divine Masculine doesn't believe that he should pick specific feelings for situations and or relationships and he should always keep his options open, at least mentally, and that is how he will stay healthy in his life. I feel like Divine Masculine in this reading is a bit of a thrill seeker or a person that likes to deal with the unexpected things or the crises that one has in one's life. I feel like he likes the adrenaline rush that comes from having to deal with and solve the unexpected things that occur in his life, or he likes to solve the crises that occur in his life for the same adrenaline rush. I feel like because Divine Masculine is hands off and purposely does not go emotionally deep in certain situations and in certain relationships in his life in order to feel the adrenaline rush of dealing with the unexpected, he misses important opportunities. I feel like Divine Masculine's most limiting belief at this time has to do with moving through life without choosing the proper emotions for situations and or relationships and refusing to make decisions because he wants and he likes the thrill of seeing what will happen and subsequently having to deal with it. Divine Masculine needs to know about his limiting beliefs in the past has to do with effort and where he spends his energy. I feel like Divine Masculine's limiting belief regarding refusing to make decisions and apply feelings in order to experience a thrill definitely extends into his romantic life. I feel like the way in which Divine Masculine was so sure about his approach to living is being shown as being significant. So there may have been arguments that went like, I know I'm right, or you can't make me change my mind. I feel like Divine Masculine may have played his refusal to make any choices off, as he's living like a free bird, or that he's open-minded or independent, something along those lines. But the truth is that he was just looking for the best avenue in which to enrich his life. I feel like what Divine Masculine was truly doing when he refused to make a decision or refused to define a relationship is that he is keeping doors open in his life in order to have the chance to find better avenues in which he can best add to his life, particularly when it comes to money and material gain. Divine Masculine's limiting beliefs in the past surrounded issues relating to there being something better just around the corner. I feel like what Divine Masculine needs to know about his limiting beliefs in the future has to do with endings or completion of cycles. I feel like because of the cards that showed themselves, Divine Masculine is going to make the decision to change his limiting belief systems. I feel like what he needs to know about his limiting belief and the future is that his expectations of conflict and stress are over. I feel like his excitement that he receives when he leaves things up to chance and has to deal with consequences afterwards is coming to an end. I feel like the desire for the excitement that used to come from leaving things up to chance is going to be taken away. I feel like the person that Divine Masculine thought that he was going to be and the way in which he thought he was going to be emotionally fulfilled in his life is not the way in which his life is going to play out. I feel like Divine Masculine's refusal to make decisions along with his hoping for and expecting conflict in order to be excited is not how Divine Masculine is going to achieve the status in his life that he desires. I also feel like if Divine Masculine 
alters his limiting belief system. Relationships are going to be harder work than they used to be in the past moving forward, but in the future, the payout from them will be much greater than it used to be in the past. I feel like what is at the root of Divine Masculine's limiting belief system is feminine energy. I feel like it's a mother, but it can be any feminine energy. I feel like this feminine energy betrayed Divine Masculine from what appears to be the very start excuse me, of their relationship. I feel like this feminine energy was more concerned with obtaining money or material gain and therefore neglected the emotional side of life. I feel like because of how this feminine energy behaved, putting wealth and material gain over closeness and emotional connectivity, Divine Masculine changed his mind about relationships or her behavior molded him into a person that does not give emotional things much thought or importance. I feel like Divine Masculine decided or was molded into a person that believes that emotions and connecting in relationships doesn't have any real value, so he does not think about emotions and surely does not act upon emotions when moving through life. I feel like the feminine energy that showed herself created a snare in the way in which Divine Masculine connects with other individuals due to her emotionally detached behavior and being only concerned about money and material gain. I feel like the feminine energy that showed herself has been hurt in relationships, which is why she behaves in the manner that she does. Unfortunately, her behavior has impacted Divine Masculine's life in a limiting manner. What is being advised by the Divine to do involves taking action. I feel like it's being advised for Divine Masculine to be committed to tearing situations and or relationships down. I feel like it's being advised for Divine Masculine to look out at the people in his circle and analyze and actually decipher what he feels about them. I feel like it's being advised that Divine Masculine evaluate the people in his life, figure out how he truly feels about them, and then act accordingly. I feel like it's being advised that Divine Masculine recognize that, when he, that what he needs to do, excuse me, and has to do is something that he needs to do on his own. I feel like listening to input from outsiders during the inventory process is not advised. I feel like after Divine Masculine analyzes the people in his life and asks himself questions such as why is this person present in my life and how do I truly feel about them, the things in his life will begin to work effectively. I feel like once he is capable of actually getting in touch with what he feels about situations and relationships, his limiting belief will dissolve and no longer have a significant impact on his life. The advice of the reading and from the divine has to do with contemplation, being analytical, and being logical. It's about really thinking about what produces money and material gain in one's life. It's about divine masculine really taking the time to think about what his limiting belief system actually achieved for him in his life. I feel like it's being advised for divine masculine to tally up the pros and cons of what refusing to address emotions and making proper decisions did for his life and accept the resulting balance. I feel like Divine Masculine is going to find that being emotionally stable and being decisive is going to lead to being financially stable in his life. I feel like it's being advised that Divine Masculine realize that he cannot have one without the other. I feel like Divine Masculine needs to recognize that in his life, emotional stability and decisive action equals financial stability and plan a strategy after that. I feel like it's being advised that Divine Masculine can no longer get away with being wishy-washy and letting situations and relationships go on without true definition, without consequences. I feel like if he does, consequences will show up in the financial or material arena. Love you guys so much.